With the start of the Winter Olympics now less than two weeks away, China continues its extreme efforts to contain any cases of COVID-19. As charter flights are set to begin bringing athletes to the games, they'll enter a bubble of strict precautions. Just traveling to Beijing may feel like a Herculean task for the Olympians as the capital city increasingly feels like a fortress. China is determined to keep out any new cases of COVID. At the airport, there's a wall separating athletes, Olympic personnel, and media from the general public. Everyone coming in is required to download the official app to monitor their health. They must begin inputting their information 14 days prior to their arrival. While health surveillance and strict contact tracing is already part of life for everyone living in China, it's making some visitors uneasy. Cybersecurity researchers warn the app has serious encryption flaws. Team USA and athletes from other countries are being advised to bring disposable burner phones instead of their personal ones. From the airport, athletes and personnel will be taken into what organizers call the closed loop system. Not one giant bubble, but rather multiple bubbles connected by dedicated shuttles. Within the city, there are several hotels and venues, plus the Olympic Village that are only for credentialed participants. The mountain venues are on the outskirts of Beijing, connected by high-speed train and highways. To maintain the separation, even the rail cars are divided, and the Olympic buses have specially marked lanes. It'll be a tale of two cities, one curated for the Olympic arrivals and pre-selected groups of spectators, another that's the real Beijing. Though some Beijing residents are now in a bubble of their own, in communities locked down after recent cases surfaced in the city outside the Olympic boundaries. A mounting challenge for a country trying to keep COVID out while staging a global sporting spectacle for the world. We should point out Olympic support workers, including volunteers, cooks and drivers, will also be a part of the closed loop system, unable to leave for the duration of the games. The separation rules are so strict, in fact, that officials have told Chinese residents if they see one of the vehicles that's part of the Olympic convoys get into any sort of crash, they should stay away. There's also a specialized unit of medics that is designed to respond to anything like that.